Hello everyone, my name is Ferris and today I will be talking through a tutorial on how to set up a federated SSO login between OCIIM and Microsoft Azure AD Entra ID using Entra ID as the identity provider to login into OCI. So over here I have my OCI tenancy where I am logged in as the administrator and on another Chrome profile, I am logged in into Microsoft Azure, where I am also logged in as the administrator. So let us go back to the OCI tenancy. And over here, let us go to the identity domain. Click on the default domain or whatever domain that you prefer. And let us check that I only have two users right now over here. So our goal is to add another user who is logged in through the Microsoft Entra ID SSO login. So in order to do that, let's go to security, click on identity providers, and click on export XML metadata over here. I will click on download XML under metadata with self-signed certificates. This is the XML metadata file that I will be giving to Azure AD. So let us close this and let us switch Chrome profile to this Entra ID. Let us click on Microsoft Entra ID, click on Enterprise Applications, click on New Application, click Oracle, OCI Console, and create with the default name. This will take a moment. Okay, now that is done, let us assign users and groups. So add user group, click on the group that I want to add. So over here, I am adding after running AZ group, which is the group that I want to give access to login into OCI. And this group only has one person in it, that is myself. So click on select and I can assign this group. Now reminder that if you are not able to see the group assignment ability it is probably because you do not have the right microsoft entra id subscription license you do need the entra id p2 license in order to assign group memberships into an enterprise an enterprise application click on assign let us go to that group and see that i am the sole member of this group let us go back to the enterprise enterprise application Go back, go back, click on overview, set up single sign-on, click on SAML, and let us upload the metadata file that we got from Oracle. Click on add, and as you can see, most of these details have been filled with the exception of the sign-on URL. So let us copy paste this pattern, and let us change the region name to the region that I am in, in which case that will be US Ashburn 1. Click on save. Okay, now that it's saved, let us close that. Click on no, I'll test later, because now we have to edit the attributes and claims. So click on this edit button under attributes and claims. Click on the unique user identifier change the name identifier format from email address to persistent, save, and add a group claim so that Entra ID can send the correct group data into OCI. Click on security groups, leave the group ID as the source attribute, open advanced options, check this box for name, let us gather this name over here, group name, and the namespace shall be this URL over here. All right, once that is done, let us click save and go back to the enterprise application. Set up single sign-on. All right, once that is all done, we can see the group name as the newest claim over here. And now I can go ahead and download the Federation metadata XML file. So pay attention to the name of this file. It is Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Console.xml file. Let us switch 
Chrome profile to the OCI tendency and let us add an IDP at the sample IDP, give it a name, click next, import the IDP metadata using the XML file that we got from Entra ID, click next, change the requested name ID format from none to email address because that is the primary user identifier that is being sent from Entra ID into Oracle Cloud. It is sending the email address of the Entra ID user. So that shall be the email address as well as the username. Click on next, create IDP. I will ignore testing the login and activating for now because I will need to I will need to configure the GIT provisioning for now. So let us configure the GIT provisioning. So just in time provisioning, what this does is that it allows you to automatically create or update an existing OCI user based on the details sent by Entra ID. So say a new user is logging in through Entra ID and they do not have a user account on OCI. This will allow you to automatically create that account instead of you having to manually set up that account in OCI before they can log in into OCI using Entra ID. So let me select these two boxes. For the name ID and attribute, let us leave it as name ID for the username. For the family name, give it an attribute of this specific URL over here. Change the attribute to name ID for primary email address because that is also our username. It is, it is the same unique user identifier that is being sent by Entra ID. And now we add a first name attribute, which will be this URL over here. Finally, I will assign group mapping. So this will allow me to automatically assign group memberships of Entra ID users into the correct OCI groups based on the groups that they are a part of in, OCI, in Azure AD. So let us copy paste this URL as the group membership attribute name and let us define the explicit group membership mappings. So for the IDP group name, let us find the exact object ID of the of this group, Abdurani AZ group. Copy to clipboard and paste and select the OCI group that I wanted to pair with. So what this does is that any group that any user that is a part of this group in Entra ID will be automatically added into this specific OCI group. I can also optionally enable assigned domain group memberships and add the groups. What this does is whatever user that logs in using Entra ID into OCI, irrespective and independent of whatever group they are a part of in Entra ID, they will be added to these groups. I don't want that because I want to give specific mappings which group maps to which group in Azure and OCI. And I have done that over here, so I do not need to enable that and I have more control. Next, I will keep the assignment rules as replace existing group memberships and ignore the missing group if a group is not found. Let us just scroll up and down one more time to make sure that everything is correct and click on save changes. Once that is done, let me activate the IDP and let me add to IDP policy so that the SSO login option is added into the login options. So as you can see, Azure is added over here. Once that is done, let me switch to the Chrome profile where I am logged in into my Azure Entra ID user account and let me try to log in. Okay, now me, let me select next. Select Azure AD login one. And let me enable secure verification. Once that is done, I can see that I have successfully logged in into the OCI tenancy using Entra ID. And let me go to my profile. 
and as you can see all of the details are pulled in correctly from enter id my email my username my first name and my last name and this is the group that i am added to so if i just switch group profile into my into my tenancy administrator account let me just go to the default domains and as you can see there's a new user created over here just now so that is what entra id has given you the ability to create and update a user based on the information that entra id provides and that is all thank you so much